The chickens have been pretty busy. And we eat a lot of eggs, but the shells have been stacking up. So today, we're gonna turn these shells I've been hoarding into a water-soluble calcium-based fertilizer for our plants. Eggshells are composed of 94% calcium carbonate, but our girls can't make calcium out of nothing. Things like crushed limestone and oyster shells are great for supplying chickens calcium. Calcium is also an additive in most of the mass-produced, bagged chicken feeds, especially the ones marketed for layers. Chickens do also eat vertebrates, and bones are a good source of calcium too. So we know how the chickens get the calcium for their eggshells. Now let's learn how to extract it for ourselves. Oh, and a quick side note. The calcium carbonate in these shells is the exact same thing that seashells are made of. So if you live anywhere near a beach, you can follow the same steps with the shells that you see there. The first thing we're gonna do is open some windows to get some airflow going. We're gonna be baking these shells at 350 degrees for about an hour. Let me be the first to warn you that this does not smell great. The smell is something similar to burnt hair mixed with sh So do this outside if you can, but we aren't trying to burn the shells. Overcooking our eggshells will evaporate all the small volatile molecules that we want to capture. By baking it for the appropriate amount of time, we're hoping to break down the calcium carbonate into freestanding ionic calcium while extracting a small amount of carbon dioxide and water and denaturing the proteins on the unwashed eggshells. But baking only breaks down a tiny bit of calcium carbonate, so we're gonna depend on the next step to extract most of calcium. When they're completely done, they'll have a light brown hue, and they'll be really brittle and easy to crush. Crush these into about quarter inch pieces, but don't go crazy with this and add the eggshell to a blender. That'll decrease the reaction speed and make the last step of this process a whole lot harder. By breaking down the protein remnants with the heat from the oven, we've made our eggshells shelf stable. Now that they've been baked and crushed, these eggshells can be stored indefinitely until you're ready to use them. I like to measure my eggshells so I can calculate the strength of the solution I need. But to be honest, you don't have to do that. This water-soluble calcium we're creating is gonna be diluted 100 to 1. And even if you add too much, it can't harm your plants. I'll be using these later. You want to use a ratio of about 1 to 10 eggshells to vinegar, cooking vinegar, which is anywhere from 4 to 6% acetic acid, works pretty well, but cleaning vinegar can get up to 75% and is even more effective at calcium extraction. Be careful not to pour it in too fast, because the initial reaction can sometimes get pretty violent. There's a chemical reaction between the acetic acid in the vinegar and the calcium carbonate in the eggshells, which blows off a bunch of carbon dioxide while leaving us with calcium ions suspended in water. A similar reaction occurs when you add vinegar to baking soda. Because we prepped our eggshells well, it'll keep bubbling like this for at least two days. But in an attempt to extract as much calcium as we can, we're gonna let this sit for about two weeks.
After a few weeks, our fertilizer solution should turn golden brown. It should also be completely clear, with no signs of fungus or mold growing on the surface. If your solution looks like this, you're ready to move on to the next step. But if there's any mold or fungus growing, you'll have to restart and bake your eggs for a bit longer. After straining the eggshells from the liquid, our fertilizer is all done. Because this solution is now just calcium floating in water, it's perfectly food safe. Mmm, tastes healthy. But unless you're in desperate need of a calcium supplement, I recommend saving this for your plants. On the farm, I normally dilute this 100 to 1 for my foliar and root feeds. And the eggshells we use during this process will go to the chickens. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.